y'all? Welcome to Girlopedic. It's your home of Therapeutic Girl Talk. And today, listen, the conversation has gone on and it's been a while now that this conversation has taken place, but we're talking about it now. Jeannie Mai and Jeezy got married, right? And the, the conversation was that the co-hosts of The Real were not invited to the wedding. They were not at the wedding. And so people were, there was a lot of conversation about like, you know, the friendships and like, were they actually, actually friends? Were they just co-workers? And people are showing clips of old clips of Adrian saying, slipping up at one time and saying like, you know, they not just, that, not yeah, that they're basically her co-workers. So the question is, can friends or can co-workers be like real friends? Like what qualifies that? What is the transition? Or should co-workers, co-workers just be co-workers? And your friends, your friends. Do they ever intermingle? Was Jeannie, was uh, Jeannie wrong for not having her? She said that they invited her close friends and family, her and Jesus' close friends and family to the wedding to be COVID safe. So that would mean- They not close friends. That would insinuate that. So what do you say? I definitely met friends at work. Now, it ain't a lot now. But there's definitely um, friends that I would invite to my wedding that I met at work. And I think if you're spending eight hours a day with somebody, you you know, you developed a, a relationship mm -hmm. that is outside of work. So y'all talk about other things, you know. Maybe you hang out outside of work sometimes. Maybe y'all have children, y'all have play dates. At that point, we're, we're, we're in the friend territory, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And at that point, absolutely, like, I'm inviting you to my wedding. I think for me, is a genie. Mm -hmm. um, if they truly were friends, okay, that's your prerogative. But I think they're, I don't know, it's hard to say. Because if there's clips that Simon said it insinuated that they weren't close friends, then cool. But the way that the video was presenting itself when she was talking about her wedding made it seem like there was a little bitterness behind it. Oh, when she was talking about mm -hmm. it with the girls. With the girls, mm -hmm. right. Which you made me feel it, like... It didn't feel like a genuine, I'm so happy for you. It felt like other people, yeah. I'm mad you didn't invite me. It felt forced a little. Yeah, I yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Only one who really seemed like it was... Is it Garcelle? Garcelle. Garcelle. Yeah. She's probably the... <laughs> you said Garcelle? Is it Jeannie? <laughs> Just want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right. Um, she seemed like she was, you know, but she was giving very much, you know, auntie. Like, you know, I wasn't going to be there anyway, but I'm glad you had a good time kind yeah. of vibe. Like, she didn't care no way or another. But for um, Lonnie, Adrian. Lonnie and Adrian, mm -hmm. um, especially Lonnie. Yeah, the Lonnie is. And she also, I think uh, there was a clip that surfaced with Lonnie, like at a party or something like that. And um, her and Garcelle were at the party together. I don't think they went together, but you know, they were both there. And um, I guess that was her first time actually being with Garcelle in person since, the, you know, the COVID has transitioned. And she had made a statement like, oh, we got invited. We got an invite. We got an invite. That's what Lonnie was saying. And Garcelle was just like, oh, girl you she's so crazy it's just weird because i've seen that cast like go on trips and whatnot but how long ago was that you know the dynamic could have changed and That's like true. i said because i loved jeezy i just don't believe jeezy being who he is would allow his woman to do something that's that's off Shady. like that yeah mm -hmm. because that's what i told this i feel like there could have been something that happened in the background maybe something going on they're really not as close as it looks like right because when you're in a relationship with somebody that person knows what's really going on somebody right. come around that you really not feeling they know because y'all didn't talk about it mm -hmm. so i'm like jesus just too real to allow his woman to do something like that so yeah. i feel like possibly there could have been for their situation there could have been other things going on to where we are, maybe they are friends but y'all really just not or my best friend they're not yeah they're like from that. parameter for what and a close friend maybe is. in their mind especially maybe the way Lonnie was was acting she thought 
maybe they she really were a there. Friend, yeah. But I remember something similar happened to me, and I was mad, and I was telling Des about it. And she was just like, everybody has a level in their head mm -hmm. as to where you are. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you find out the level that you had the person is not the level they had you, right. it yeah. can it's be painful yeah. and disappointing. But it's not anything to. Harbor. I'm not gonna, sh especially over marriage. Like that's something super exciting. I can get past my feelings over that. Yeah. But at the same time, I do, I do think a big thing like that makes the sting more intense. Absolutely. Because you got married, like prayerfully. You know, this will be your last and final. You know what yeah. I mean? So you got married, Ooh, and such a big moment. event, and mm -hmm. not being. And I get, you may know someone for many years, and just because you know someone does not qualify them into that space, like mm -hmm. that space, into, you know, your, your life or different events. Um, but maybe it was almost as if they had walked through a lot of different journeys of together, life with together. her. Mm -hmm. So where yeah. it was like, why would we not, not be, invited. Be, be here? And I think that that can sting more because, especially if you say my closest, Friends. Yeah, it's like it was okay, emphasis well, they, on that. Yeah, and you know it seemed I mean? like it was it, a lot of people there from the clips that you saw. For as it to far be as close. close, yeah. I but, mean, it didn't look like about five or ten people. You know, it was a it was a nice size people there. But even to that point, as far as because I've been there, you walking through life with people. Sometimes when you're in pain, you share things with a lot more people than if you in your right mind. Oh, so that's with true. her like going through yeah. a divorce and things like that. Of course, we are around each other a lot. We have conversations similar, not not like us, but right, them as right. in the real. We have conversations similar behind the scenes and on set. Sometimes it may trickle over to, I'm going to let y'all know this is what I'm going That's through. That's true. But that doesn't necessarily mean that when I'm in my, and it's not that it's a good thing, but like when I'm right back in my right mind, I'm not going through this season. I know That's I'm not going to be sharing everything. Mm -hmm. But when you hurt, you hurt. And sometimes... Your mind is not in the right spot. You just tell everybody everything because you're just in pain. That's okay, but what point. do you say to you? That's a great point. So what do you do if the friendship's not... You say you've been through that before. Like, how do you... Do you just know how to handle that person? Like... Because those are those are mild markers where it's like, dang, you had to show me that we're not on this level in this you kind of way. Back. Honestly, okay. Because I... Dang, this just came from to my memory. Now... I have had an experience where I was friends with someone and honestly I still to this day don't know why we're not friends anymore it's just we just kind of stopped talking and um, this individual did end up getting married and randomly you know text me after not speaking for at least a year or two hmm. and I was just like oh congrats but like what am I supposed to do with this I didn't expect to be invited to the wedding simply because our, our dynamic was non-existent at that point. But it's like, in the moment where our dynamic changed, I did kind of step back and was like, dang, like what happened? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I was hanging out with you every day. Like, you couldn't even just tell me why. I just moved on because, I mean, I didn't care that much. But clearly, it was just, it was still like, uh, okay. What you said earlier, though, it's different when your coworkers. I see That's you. True. I still have to see you every day. Every day, yeah. You know? And so and we still interact. We're at. Yeah, and we still That's, have conversations. So yeah. it will be. It's kind of weird. That's to be where like, you just communicate that with that person, though. Mm -hmm. Like at least let them know because at this point, like in my situation, I definitely took a step back, but I also let them know, like, hey, I thought we was better than mm -hmm. than this, and it was. And after we communicated, it was like, oh no, I didn't mean it. Like you know, mm -hmm. it gives you that space to clear it up either no i really don't think of you that way mm -hmm. or it's really just this is what it was it wasn't meant for you to take it any other way than what it was it seems but like Lonnie is the one who really had and the, issue with yeah. so we don't because maybe adrian and Jeannie, like it wasn't like that with it but it may be specifically between those two but to me the it, watching that video and just remembering it right now the energy from it just wasn't giving it was all like sure. oh we're your friends and we're so happy for you it was giving like we should have been we're happy for you but we we shut up now. Yeah, yeah but we're mad we're like here. we should have been able to experience this with you and i think sometimes too it comes into the enti entitlement that people have as far as like what people are 
you know feel Allowed like they're entitled to, to yeah, yeah entitled to for your life and your big life events but I don't, I don't know. I think it's in. possible to be friends with a coworker. But on sure, the flip but. side, let's say, let's say that they are close friends, and then she it's simply a- did not invite them to her wedding. Oh yeah, we'd have a problem. We'd have a problem, and I'm mad at Juicy at this point. <laughs> no, because and that's why it was so hard for me to wrap my mind around it because I just love him so much. I mean, I'm like, she I was can't. Adding. I'm like, no, because Jeezy just not that tight. He not gonna. That's a reflection in him. Mm-hmm. He not gonna let her do that. Something going on. But if they really are close friends, and she didn't invite them, that there's definitely I would absolutely be mad. But you said if you got before, married, I was just about you, to say, if you got your vows renewed, and I was there. Yeah. You exactly. Get, and I'm not there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm. Initially, I'm, because I'm, I didn't really know more, I'm be mad. I see the other perspective, but initially, Jeannie was giving me very much. I got a man now, I'm so I don't got time. I'm married now. This is this is my man now. So bump whatever y'all saying. That's the that's the vibe I was getting, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is what you need to watch out for. Yeah, I agree. because you said people who change once they get into once they get into a relationship because it's like like that's all in life at that point you know what i'm saying um it also says a lot about what your single life looked like which you said she was married before mm-hmm. yeah, she's married before. Oh, okay well she's married for like i think 10 years or something like that. i think it just says a lot about what like how you place marriage and having a man like you know that pedestal and maybe song. it's this relationship that could have brought that yeah, out exactly. of her as far as this is something new i've never experienced maybe a man like this before exactly. and which when it's starting now i don't think there's anything wrong with you so smitten y'all hang out no but, but when i, I turned to and like you got your head up higher because yeah you, you, you got married, married and she yeah. don't like don't do that yeah that's when there start. is a different cadence i get what you're saying or even if we're all but it's Mm, I don't even know how to describe it, but I definitely know what you're saying. Especially because I picked if you were there when you were sad and mad about the fact that you didn't have one. Exactly. Yeah. Now you have and, one. Now you, and now and it's just, just throw us it's away. beneath. Like we beneath you now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I get that. You just gotta watch stuff like that. I don't think you can throw people, certain people, through uh, to the side if they've gone through that stuff. Certain. Why? Things. I don't think how? You know how? Like how? Like if you have gone something like a divorce. Like, if y'all have known what I've been through, like, if we had, because they talked about having sleepovers. Yeah. Before. If you know that, and I've cried with you and to you, bro. And I unless, think that's where that's what I'm saying. From. Unless something happened in between to where that dynamic changed. Right. And it would have had to be thought. something very extreme. Yeah. yeah. Um, umbrellaed under the fact, oh, COVID. Because, again, mm-hmm. Intimate or not, you had a lot of people that went. Bro. I've seen three you. more people. I've seen you. What is Literally. three more? What people? is three more people? Yeah. But hey, I, I definitely see where they're coming from. Um, and it was very apparent in the video that Lonnie was. It, it was all. She and and Lonnie seems like the type to where she does take those friendships seriously. Exactly. Like she did with Tamir. Like she really. Mm-hmm. And that she friends. wants to talk it out. It's yeah. not like you know. Mm-hmm. Sh- let's work through it, kind of thing. And that's that's, yeah. that's that's something special about her though like the mm-hmm. fact that i respect you enough no we really talk you know exactly. what i'm saying you're not just telling me this stuff and then i'm just going about my business i don't care about you but when people and that's the other thing when you go through those things with people you're invested in that emotionally right. too so when you see somebody who you care about and they're in pain you're in pain because right. you don't exactly. want to see your friends yeah. like that so i can definitely understand why they would be hurt if nothing has changed Except Absolutely. for the fact that there's a pandemic, I would definitely be her. I would be a pandemic and a new relationship. Because maybe I got a mask. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's like you may not know him. Right. Because well. you know sometimes you can get in a relationship and it's like your friends don't know your They may know your yes. old man, but they don't know your new man. Mm-hmm. But even then, I just... And I also, know. too, when I was I picked up on her when she was explaining like certain events and stuff, it was always Jeezy's friends, Jeezy's family. Um, and she may have mentioned her mom and brother, but like everything was Jeezy this, Jeezy that, Jeezy this, mm. Jeezy that, Jeez, Jeez, Jeez. And I was like, well, where is your friends and family? And to be honest, her, her friends and family was probably there. She just trying to make it seem like, well, you know, Jeezy. Intimate. Right. Yeah, right. right. Don't do that. Jeezy this. Your friends was there too. Where they was at, baby? Because at this point, 
You covered it up. Yeah. But I think it can be. It can. Do you think it can be like, kind of, um, mm, like what do you think transitions a coworker from like a coworker friend to like a friend friend? If you if I'm hanging out with you outside of work. Because, because, but because listen, what you said is y'all can like y'all can go to lunch together and do this and this, and we could still be coworkers at the end mm. of the day. Yep. If you text my phone after we get off, that's a friend. <laughs> Cause don't get my line after we leave uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. about unwork related stuff, mm -hmm. right? If we're hanging out outside of the eight hours, mm -hmm. you know you're what nice. I'm saying? You're my friend. You know what I mean? And now, as far as confiding, I think that's a fine line because you can have coworkers that you confide in. Again, like you said, just because you're going through something, they're there. Right. But if we're hanging out, you know what I'm saying? If you do, if you came over my house, oh baby, you really a friend. Yeah, we're friends. Um, you know, just if our kids are playing together, you know, I mean, those are things. I think that stuff that is outside of work that you would do with your real friends mm -hmm. i'm considering you a friend you know yeah. what i'm saying you know my family type mm -hmm. stuff yes yeah because i definitely i've had friends who were co-workers that turn into actual friendships yeah like, i don't work too. at that specific place but we actually still keep up how mm -hmm. are the kids like literally i have one friend who uh texts he, they text me every Sunday morning because they come to our church now, mm -hmm. like virtual, mm -hmm. like praise. But it's like every without. I mean, but we're friends. We yep. talk about stuff, actual friendships. It's not just work. Work. Yeah, exactly. you, you my friend. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen. It's possible, and I think they would be hurt if if I got married or something. And you I didn't tell them exactly I because in their hurt. minds they will be thinking that's more of that wow. relationship. And that's yeah. a very very important milestone. Mm -hmm. In someone's life. Don't yeah. want to. Thank you. That's how that's I feel. I just feel like they're big mile markers. Like you said, mm -hmm. if y'all got married, either one of y'all, and y'all didn't invite me, mm -hmm. I'll be hurt. I'll be hurt if I. Child. Listen, my feelings gonna be hurt if this one get a man and don't tell me. <laughs> exactly. Like, Hold on now. Right. Where did this come from? There's, no, there's so that much. You just yes. want to yeah. know. And when you your would, friend. When you, you love your friend. But yeah. when you think that your friendship is at a different Invite level. Mm -hmm. Because you may be a friend that say that says, you know what, I know we're friends, but I don't know if we're at the level to where she would tell me she has a right. new man or and you know, something like that. And I would tell me. But and yeah, I you know what I'm saying? Right. And yes. not just <laughs> that you got a new man, but I want to know that you're interested in somebody. somebody. Like, yeah, like, like I from I mean, the turn out to the but not. I want to know everything. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes there's rightful entitlement. But I think there's situations that come to like show you what well, someone thinks of you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you just and that was it. it. And that, I think it. yeah, Lonnie, move, move on, baby. You got other friends. You don't have to dislike the person. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's right. Just, okay, oh, I, I see, see where, where I'm at. at. Exactly. No That's hard feelings. Fun. It's cool. Seasons, baby. So people who scroll seasons. Mm-hmm. Well, with that. Let us know down in the comments. Do you think coworkers can be actually real friends? What is the transition? Do you think that she was wrong for not inviting her coworkers, being that they've worked together for I don't know six, seven, eight years now? I don't know what it is. Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yes. Follow us on Instagram at Girlopedic, and we will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Hi.